Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to see the basics of quadratic equation. First, let me take x plus 2 into x plus 3. We need to understand what is quadratic equation. So, for your understanding, I am writing like this. Now, normally, I am going to multiply this. When I multiply x into x, what do you get? x square. What do you get? x square. Similarly, when I multiply this x with this 3, what do you get? You will get 3x, that is plus 3x. And then you will multiply this 2 with x. When you multiply this 2 with this x, what do you get? Plus 2x. And then when you multiply this 2 with the 3, what do you get? 2 into 3 will be 6. Now, I am adding all the values, that is variables. When I add, I will get x square plus 5x plus 6, all are equal to 0. Now, whenever a variable having a power of 2 comes in an equation, we call it as a quadratic equation. I will repeat again, whenever in any equation the maximum power is 2 for a variable, then we call that equation as a quadratic equation. See, we need to understand, now we know very well, whenever the maximum power in an equation is 2, then we call that particular equation as a quadratic equation. Okay. Now, we need to understand the next thing is, what is roots? See, let me take the same equation, that is x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. You know very well, when I multiply values, when I multiply two values, I must get the this value, that is 6. Clear? Similarly, when I add two values, I must get this center value, that is 5. Accordingly, I need to split the, I need to uh, take the values. Now, this 6, when I split, what will I split? I will split the 6 as 2 into 3. When I split the 2 into 3, the 6 as 2 into 3, that is when I write 2, again when I write 3, 2 into 3 will be 6. So, I am getting this value. Similarly, when I split the 6 as 2 into 3, I write here 2 plus 3, I will get 5. That is the center value. Then, I call these two values, 2 and 3, are roots. But, you need to also understand, you need to change the sign. Then only you can say it is a root. Because, you know very well, this 2 and 3 are the roots. Now, I write, this is plus value, right? So, x plus 2. Similarly, this is also plus value. That is, x plus 3. When I, this is equal to 0, when I multiply, I will get this equation or not, because x plus 2 into x plus 3, that is the equation I am getting here. So, when I multiply this one, I will get this equation, clear? Okay. Now, I am talking about root, clear? So, this x plus 2 equal to 0 means, then what is the actual root? x plus 2 equal to 0 means, what will come x equal to minus 2? So, minus 2 is the root for this equation. So, that means whatever value I am getting here, I need to change the symbol. So, here I, I got plus 2, here I got plus 3. Clear? That means the original root will be minus 2 comma minus 3 is the original root. Why I need to change? Because x plus 2 equal to 0. That is I am written here. x plus 2 equal to 0. Then x equal to minus 2. Similarly, this x plus 3 equal to, I am writing here for your understanding, x plus 3, this portion. x plus 3 equal to 0. Then x equal to minus 3. So, that this value we call it as a root. Okay. Now, let me also explain one more thing for your better understanding. I will take the new page. See, I take the same equation. What is the equation? x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. Now, we know very well, we need to change the sign. 
So when I, after changing the sign, I get minus 3 comma minus 2 are the roots. See, you need to understand when I substitute this minus 3 in the in the place of x square, I will get 9. Similarly, again the same minus 3, again when I substitute here, plus 5 into minus 3, what do you get? You will get minus 15. Similarly, now here only way, number only, so it is plus 6. When I substitute in this order, 9 minus 15 plus 6 equal to what do you get? 0. In this equation, when I substitute minus 3, I am getting totally the equation becomes 0. Similarly, I take this minus 2. So, I am again substituting in the equation x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. See, when I substitute x square equal to minus 2. That is x, x is equal to minus 2. X, uh, so, minus 2 into minus 2, what will come? Here, it becomes 4. Here, this minus 5 into minus 2. x value is, now I consider minus 2. When I consider, I will get minus 10. Then, this 6 as it is, which is equal to again 0. So, 4 minus 10 plus 6, ultimately the total will become 0. See, you need to understand minus 3 comma minus 2 are the only two values when you substitute in the equation you will get the total will be equal to 0 no other value other than minus 3 and minus 2 when you substitute in this equation you will get 0 so only this two values when I substitute in the equation I will get 0 no other value when I substitute in this equation, I will never get 0. That means, these two values, I call it as a roots. That's it. Is it clear? So, I, th I hope I made it very clear. Let me repeat once again. This is the quadratic equation. Because, I say, whenever I come across a variable having the maximum power as 2, then that equation, I call it as a quadratic equation. And, I need to find the root. To find the root, when I multiply, I must get the constant value. This we call it as a constant value. And this we call it as a coefficient of x. Clear? So when I multiply, I must get the constant value. And when I add the two roots, I must get the uh, center value. That is a coefficient of x value. And also, you need to understand... After finding the value, I need to change the sign. Why I need to change the sign? Here I told you very clearly, x plus 2 equal to 0, then x equal to minus 2. Similarly, x plus 3 equal to 0, then x equal to minus 3. So, whenever I find the find this kind of values, then I need to always change the sign. Now, you may be wondering why, what is the use in find, uh, what is the use in uh, uh, solving this kind of quadratic equation sum? See, this quadratic equation sum has a lot of uh, practical application uses. Let me tell you one by one. For example, see here, I have given a sum. The sum is nothing but, see, here I have given a sum. It is nothing but a 3 hour river, a 3 hour river cruise goes 15 km upstream and then back again. The river has a current of 2 km an hour. What is the boat speed and how long was the upstream journey? See, it is a very simple question. There is a uh, going going to a place and coming back. Here, based on that, a question is asked. In this question, we will be applying, we will be using the quadratic equation. So, here, I am not going to solve the sum. Just I am telling you where it is used. Clear? So, in this place, in this time and distance kind of sum, this boats and streams of kind of sum, I am going to use the quadratic equation. So, when I use this sum, I will get this kind of equation. When I frame the equation using this uh, wordings, then I will get equation like this. When I solve this, I will get two roots. Here, I get one root as minus 0.39, the other root as 10.39. See, ultimately, always we will consider the positive value for this kind of sum. So, I will consider the answer is 10.39. See, the sum is nothing but finding the speed of the boat. So, uh, the answer will be 10.39 and again the speed will never be negative. So, this option we will eliminate and we will consider this option. See, my idea is to tell you uh, where it is up, uh, applied, where, uh, what is the use in practical daily life. 
for that only i am not going to solve the sum don't bother about uh, how i need to solve this sum don't bother about that because in in our uh, ibps po exam and all they are asking just they are giving just a quadratic e equation and they are telling you to compare the values of x and y now let me tell you what is the other use of uh, the same quadratic equation see when you throw a ball what is the time taken to fall down so this kind of things again uh, uh, for this purpose to calculate also we, you can use the quadratic equation it is given here no the picture shows very clearly your ball is uh, thrown your ball ball is thrown let me take the picture your ball is thrown straight up from 3 meter above the ground with a velocity of 14 meter per second when does it hit the ground so again when i try to solve the sum i will get equation like this and when i solve the equation i will get two values for that t the question is time taken so we consider as t we are uh, using the variable as t so when i use t equal to i'll get one answer minus 0.2 the other answer uh, equal to 3 and again you know very well the question is when does hit when does it hit the ground the ball hit the ground that is a question so definitely it will uh, the time cannot be negative so this point minus point 2 we will leave it and we will consider the 3 clear see here don't again i am telling you don't bother about so, uh, i did uh, how i get using the words how i will get the uh, equation and using the how to solve this equation don't bother about it as of now just you try to understand where it is used whenever we try to study something we need to understand why i need to study where it is used only when i know that only it makes me interesting to study further clear and also see you might be wondering when uh, whenever you are wearing a glass in that glass they will be they will be uh, finding the thickness of the uh, lens using this uh, quadratic equation only whatever the size of the curve is required to create the lens which is for your eyes suppose you are wearing a uh, glass then you will be using the lens in your glass correct so that for that lens for that curve they are again using the quadratic equation so it has a lots of application applications i hope i uh, given a, a basic idea about what is quadratic equation and one more thing also i would like to tell you here i i told you very clearly here in this uh, video i am just giving you the basics of the quadratic equation because in my upcoming videos only i am going to solve the original exam sums clear now let me tell you one more thing also here i will take the new uh, new page now i'll take my pen see here i'll also tell you whenever the equation of this form that is ax square plus bx plus c this is a general format of the quadratic equation clear see here i'll i'll show you one thing see here plus plus what is this plus plus this, this is nothing but this plus this plus clear this plus and this plus is this two plus always whenever i have a equation as plus plus then my roots always will be negative roots when i solve the equation i'll get the roots will be negative roots you need to uh, understand that clear similarly suppose i have a root like this that is uh, the quadratic equation like this ax square minus bx plus <coughs> plus c equal to 0 then that is here minus here plus so here minus here plus then my roots will be positive both the roots will be positive is it clear both the roots will be positive see this will be very useful in your uh, when you solve the question because suppose i let me take one example suppose i have a equation like x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 and in the exam they are telling you they are giving you two equation and they are telling you to solve the equation and they are telling you to compare which one is the greater one or smaller one now the another equation is y square minus y square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 now i take this one see here you need to understand i don't want to solve the sum here by mistake i have written as y x it is nothing but it is y clear so x square minus plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 the another equation is y square minus 5y plus 6 equal to 0 let me take this rule here 
in the first equation I have plus and plus. So plus and plus. What is my uh, root value? Both the roots will be negative. Both the roots will be negative. That means you know very well. I already solved this equation only. You know very well the root for this will be minus three, minus three comma minus two. Similarly, similarly when I solve this one, this is y square minus five y plus six. Here it is minus, here it is plus. So here it is minus, here it is plus. Then what will be my roots? Both the roots will be positive roots. Clear? See again when you solve this, you will get plus three comma plus two. Clear? See. Then the, actually the question is what they are telling you to compare whether x is greater or y is greater or both are equal. That way they are asking you to ca calculate. You know very well x both values are negative, y both values are positive. That means definitely I can very easily say x is less than y. Correct or not? See you need to understand it is not required. You need to solve this equation and tell the answer. By using this rule, whenever I have equation, quadratic equation like a plus and plus, that is plus and plus, I will be having always that two roots must be negative. And whenever I have the quadratic equation minus and plus, that is here minus and plus, then my roots always must be positive. So obviously, without any calculation, by seeing this symbol plus and plus, I know very well the final roots will be negative. Correct or not? Similarly, when I see minus and plus, the final root will be positive. Correct or not? Then immediately I can say the roots of x will be negative, the roots of y will be positive. Then obviously x will be less than y. That's it. I don't need time, lot of time to uh, waste my time to answer for this question. See, I have given just an example. Clear? Whatever be the equation. Whatever be the equation, whatever be the kind of equation, whether it is an easy one, tougher one, whatever be the case, whenever I come across, come across plus and plus, my, automatically my answer will be, both the roots will be negative. See, whenever I come across the equation minus and plus, automatically both the equation, uh, both the roots will be positive. Then I can very easily compare, this is negative, this is positive. That means this is smaller, this is bigger. So, x less than y. That's it. So only thing you need to remember this rule. Similarly, we have the whenever I have the quadratic equation with plus and minus, then the roots will be minus and plus. Similarly, whenever quadratic equation I have minus and minus, then the roots will be plus and minus. That's it. So I hope in this video I have given a basics about the quadratic equation. In my next video, I am going to take the original question and I will try to uh, solve it in a very very easy way when you see the question itself immediately you know how to get the answer so that way I will be putting the, my next video so keep uh, uh, keep watching my channel I will be meeting you in a next video till then it's bye from Balaji see you bye bye take care of your preparation see you bye bye